Hello, Bay Path University. My name is April May. I'm a MFA 21 alum, a reporter for the Republican, and a member of the Native American Intertribal Council of Western Mass. I'm so happy and honored to be celebrating another Indigenous Peoples Day with you all, and I hope to share many more with you. Indigenous Peoples Day is about the erasure of extinction propaganda, cultural preservation, protection of our lands, sustainability, and historical rights. It's not about only demanding our respect for individual rights, but our collective rights as a whole. With the community as key, we resist to overcome systematic oppression so we may reclaim our tribal identities. What can we do to support Indigenous Peoples Day? We can find a local call to action, support local group events that the Native American Intertribal Council has, sign petitions for land back, donate to tribes without running water, and much more. Just do a simple Google search. Today, we not only celebrate and honor our past, but let's bring light and healing to contemporary issues. Orange Shirt Day is every September 30th in honor of the survivors of the Indian border boarding schools and to honor the 6,000 plus who did not make it home across North America. Please see orangeshirtday.net because every child matters. We would also like to honor and acknowledge the missing and murdered indigenous women across the country. We want no more stolen sisters. 506 cases span across 71 cities, 128 missing, 280 murdered, and 98 unknown. Think it doesn't happen here? Jalea, a member of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe, remains were found in Florida. She was with child. Please, let's shed light on these issues. If you would like to know more, please visit the Springfield City Library and Museums in January for my upcoming exhibit, We Are Still Here, or check out the Native American Intertribal Council of Western Mass on Facebook. Thank you. Aho.